Hi, this is David Kettlewell. I'm your host of mastersofharmonica.com and this is video number two in a series on breath and chromatic harmonica. Just want to recap two very important points. In the world of chromatic harmonica, breath is everything. Your control of breath. Your ability to improve as a musician can be, and your studies and your practice and how you approach it mentally can be likened to a pyramid. You want a foundation that's extremely strong, like granite, and those foundation stones become the base skills upon which your, your playing gets better and better and better. And if those base skills are super strong, and one of them is breath, that pyramid can hold weight and as time goes by, you get better and better and better. So today in this video, we're going to move towards a deeper understanding of the breath and give you some more hints and exercises that you probably have never heard of before that can help you become exceptionally capable on the instrument. Now, when we talk about developing our breathing, one thing I want to I want to help you with is to become aware of your breathing. Now, part of that is to learn to take measured breaths, breaths that are under control because to make the sound on a harmonica that was a blow, or a draw. To be able to control that instrument, the reed, you must control the breath. So, let's learn how to do that. Well, the first thing is just to breathe in, Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think about your breathing. Listen to your breathing. And try to have your breathing equal. You want to draw air in about the same rate that you blow it out. And you might be thinking, you gotta be kidding me. He's gonna sit here and talk about how to breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, yeah I am. Because that's the basis of playing this instrument, breathing in and breathing out. But most people don't think about it, they don't study it, and they don't practice it, and their breath is out of control, and they can't get better. A lot of you out there, I know, you've been playing for a while, and you're not happy with your progress. You don't have breath under control. I've seen this in many, many students. You must get this breath under control. So, we want to practice bringing in the breath and blowing it out. Now, if you, you might say, well, how am I going to know that, Dave? I mean, how am I going to know if they're the same? Well, if you pucker and you breathe in, there's a sound, a tone. And if you blow out with the same amount of pressure, makes the same sound. So, try and match duration and force of the air. Why? Because this is what drives that harmonica. And that's when you get a blow and a draw that sound about the same, which you must have. not the, the draws will be weak as a general rule. So by practicing puckering and breathing in and out, and you don't have to do this for hours, I mean just a few minutes. Just It's going to take a while for this diaphragm to get strong enough 
from a muscle perspective to do it. Understanding that this whole thing becomes more complex when you realize that the skill of breathing in is a different skill from blowing out because they use different muscle groups in the diaphragm. So you're going to have to practice both. But if you're looking for a way to jump the quality of your playing in exponential ways, get this breath under control. And to be fair, I mean, look at your whole life. I mean, you've, you've blown up party balloons and you've whistled. By the way, this is a little fun, but you can whistle blowing out and drawing in. A lot of people didn't know that, but you can actually whistle drawing air in. And I think that a hint I want to give you is that it is definitely going to take you more time to get the draw under measured control than it is the blow. So expect that. Also, if you stand, this will be easier. Now, another major point, and this is so critical to have beautiful tone, you do not blow into a harmonica and suck on it. It's not. That's not playing a harmonica. That's what a child does with a little toy. I've seen him walking around lakes doing that with a harmonica, by the way. You, you breathe with the instrument in a relaxed manner with your diaphragm. That's completely different than just blowing and sucking on an instrument. You're actually breathing with the instrument. So, what does that sound like? Did you hear how it's relaxed and, and nice tonally? And that's what you want. Now, what is the sound chamber for a harmonica? Well, a sound chamber for a guitar is the body of the guitar, you know, that round thing with a hole in it. And the sound chamber for a piano is the soundboard. But the, the sound chamber for the harmonica is your body. It's your mouth cavity and your embouchure control of your tongue and the various shapes you know, in your mouth, your use of your larynx glottis area and your diaphragm. So your body, your body is the sound chamber. And so that's why we want to practice breathing with the instrument in a relaxed manner because it's making maximum use of your body to get beautiful tone. Practice practicing relaxed. The audience can tell when you're tense. Be relaxed when you practice, and you'll be relaxed when you perform. So you do these exercises in a way where your body is comfortable and relaxed, and you're going to be learning to breathe in and breathe out with your instrument. Not into it as a thing, but with it. Now, in the next video, which is number three, we're going to deal with how do you develop the skill to go from a draw to a blow quickly, which you absolutely must have. And one of the secrets of that 